Qantas spent nearly $4.4 billion to buy 12 Airbus A350-1000s to carry out their Sunrise plan. This plan aims to start non-stop flights from Australia's east coast to Europe and New York. There was a lot of discussion about whether Qantas would choose the Airbus A350 or the Boeing 777X, and they ended up picking the Airbus A350. So, why did the Airbus A350 come out on top? How does Qantas plan to run these flights? And how will this plan affect the airline industry? Let's take a look. The Sunrise Project, announced in 2017, aims to push the boundaries of long-distance flying. These flights will cover over 10,000 miles and last about 20 hours without needing to stop. This will greatly reduce travel time for passengers and improve the efficiency of air travel. Qantas hopes to set a new record for the longest non-stop flight, leading to major advancements in commercial aviation. The Sunrise Project promises to change how we travel by offering great convenience and speed. This is a pivotal moment for both Qantas and the whole aviation industry. Alan Joyce, the CEO of Qantas, has stressed how crucial this program is. Ultra-long flights were first talked about in 2017, but the pandemic delayed their start. Now, as the global aviation industry is rebounding thanks to increasing travel demands, Project Sunrise is set to launch in 2025. While the airline's direct flights from Perth to London and Rome are pricier than its typical routes that stop in Asia, they have still become popular. Qantas uses the Boeing 787 for flights from Perth to Europe and has also conducted a test flight from Sydney to London. However, for the Sunrise Project, which aims to extend flights to the United States, Qantas chose the Airbus A350-1000 over Boeing's competing model. So, why was the Airbus A350 chosen? Firstly, the Airbus A350-1000 has a maximum range that significantly surpasses the Boeing 777X. It can travel more than 16,100 kilometers, while the Boeing 777X has a range of around 13,500 kilometers. Considering the distance from Australia to the U.S. is nearly 15,200 kilometers, the Airbus A350-1000 is better suited for these long-haul flights. Furthermore, when it comes to performance and fuel efficiency, the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines, specifically designed for the Airbus A350, are superior to their competitors. These engines are equipped with 68 high-pressure turbine blades and can generate an impressive 50,000 horsepower, saving each airplane over $2.9 million in fuel costs annually. Additionally, these Rolls-Royce engines help reduce fuel consumption and emissions by 25%, marking a significant step towards a more sustainable and profitable future. The manufacturer claims that the Trent XWB can connect almost any two cities around the globe, making it ideal for flying the world's longest commercial routes. This highlights its industry-leading versatility and reliability compared to other wide-body engines. In terms of design, the Airbus A350 also stands out. More than 50% of its structure is made from composite materials, which consist of two or more different substances combined to enhance performance. In contrast, the Boeing 777X has an aluminum fuselage with composite materials used mainly on the wings. There have been criticisms that Boeing was simply trying to adapt the advanced technology of the Dreamliner 787 into the outdated airframe of the older 7 Series. Boeing claims that the new 777X will be the most efficient wide-body aircraft in the world, yet Airbus's A350, with its substantial use of composite materials, offers advanced technological and structural benefits over the Boeing 777X. The combination of carbon fibers and plastic resin in the Airbus A350 results in a material with superior properties compared to using either element alone or in other combinations. This hybrid material surpasses traditional metals like aluminum and iron in many respects. The A350 is notably lighter because a significant portion of its structure, including its wings, is made from composite materials. 
In fact, the A350's wing is one of the largest single structures made from carbon fiber composite. This includes other critical parts like the fuselage and the wing box, which connects the wings to the fuselage, all crafted from carbon-based composites. These materials not only reduce the aircraft's overall weight, but also enhance its fuel efficiency by enabling it to carry more load over longer distances. Additionally, the Airbus A350 requires less maintenance over its lifespan due to the durability of its composite airframe. Regarding pricing, while the Boeing 777X has a list price around $450 million, the Airbus A350, although slightly cheaper in upfront cost, offers a more economical operation over time due to its lower maintenance needs and superior fuel efficiency. The Airbus A350 with its special cabin interiors is designed to enhance the passenger experience, especially on the ultra-long flights that Qantas operates, which can last up to 22 hours non-stop. Recognizing the importance of passenger comfort and health during such extended periods of travel, Qantas has innovatively included a well-being zone in the A350. This zone, situated between the premium economy and economy sections, features sculpted wall panels and integrated stretch handles. It's equipped with screens that display guided exercise programs, plus a hydration station and a selection of refreshments to cater to the needs of all on board. Moreover, the 40-seat premium economy and 140-seat economy cabins are designed with the most spacious seat pitches of any Qantas aircraft. These seats include ergonomic leg and footrests, as well as personal storage options, ensuring comfort throughout the journey. Additionally, every seat across all four cabins is equipped with multiple fast USB-C charging ports, and every premium seat also includes integrated wireless charging. To further enhance the connectivity experience, the Airbus A350 fleet offers fast and free Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. This allows passengers to pair their personal headsets with individual in-flight entertainment screens, ensuring a personalized and enjoyable travel experience. These innovative features underline why the Airbus A350 was chosen by Qantas, contributing significantly to the decision to prefer it over the Boeing 777X, in addition to the cost savings and operational efficiencies it provides. The Airbus A350, chosen by Qantas for their Project Sunrise, is designed to transform the long-haul travel experience. The aircraft features six enclosed first-class suites that resemble mini-boutique hotel rooms. Each suite boasts a two-meter flatbed, a dining table for two, a separate recliner chair, and a 32-inch 4K ultra-high-definition touchscreen TV. The 52 business class suites also offer a high level of privacy and comfort with sliding doors, lay-flat beds, large dining tables, bespoke lighting, and 18-inch 4K ultra-high definition touchscreen TVs. Alan Joyce, CEO of Qantas, highlighted that although the aircraft will feature a significant number of premium seats, the primary focus is on enhancing comfort and safety across all cabin classes, including the premium economy and economy. This is evident as the airline has invested considerable effort into designing the second half of the aircraft. A notable feature is the well-being zone, aimed at improving passenger health on ultra-long flights, which was the first cabin area to be developed. Furthermore, Project Sunrise reimagines every aspect of long-haul flying, from the cabin design to the ingredients in the in-flight menu. Reducing the number of seats from over 300 in comparable aircraft from other airlines to 238 in the A350 allows for more space per passenger, emphasizing comfort over capacity. This strategic choice not only maximizes aircraft performance on long-haul routes, but also significantly enhances the overall passenger experience, offering more space and comfort. The Sunrise Project by Qantas is a significant innovation in the aviation industry, marking a new era for long-haul flights. This initiative improves travel efficiency by eliminating the need for stopovers, providing passengers with unmatched convenience. 
The Airbus A350-1000, selected for these routes, is ideal due to its superior range, fuel efficiency, and the use of advanced composite materials that enhance aircraft performance. One of the project's standout features is the well-being zone dedicated to allowing passengers to stretch, move, and relax away from their seats. Qantas is the only airline to offer a specially designed space on board for stretching and movement, highlighting its commitment to passenger health and comfort. This area was developed with great care, incorporating feedback from a variety of fabric tests and ergonomic designs. In the premium economy class, significant innovations, such as the new headrest wings, offer passengers added support and a sense of privacy. Additionally, an upholstered ergonomic foot and legrest system supports a comfortable recline, enhancing the ability to rest and sleep during the flight. Scheduled to launch in 2025, Project Sunrise aims to redefine long-haul travel. By reducing the number of seats, Qantas has not only created more space but also significantly enhanced in-flight amenities, focusing on comfort through innovative cabin features. This project is set to establish new standards in the industry, solidifying Qantas' position as a leader in global aviation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.